this video lecture is about mutual induction this twin mutual induction is a phenomenon in which a rate of a change of a current in a primary coil result into generation of an induced emf in a secondary coil so we can define a mutual induction as mutual induction is a process or a phenomenon in which rate of change of current in a primary coil result in a generation of electromotive force in a secondary coil so this mutual induction mean that whenever there is a change in a current in a primary coil there will be change there will be a generation of electromotive force now in a secondary coil now why the change in a current in a primary coil result into generation of electromotive force in a secondary coil why this trend since you know that whenever there is a current in a coil the current basically have a magnetic field associated with it and whenever there is a magnetic field there will be a magnetic flux magnetic flux basically it represent a number of magnetic field of line passing through an area or passing through a surface so whenever there is a current in a coil there will be associated magnetic field and magnetic field of magnetic field of lines so they will also have magnetic flux and when there is a change in a current there the change in a current will basically cause a change in magnetic field and the change in magnetic field result into change in a magnetic flux so whenever there is a change in a magnetic flux this change of magnetic flux will result into an induced electromotive force so now in mutual induction uh, in mutual induction there is a change of a current in a primary coil and the rate of change of a current in a primary coil will result into an induced emf so we can write mutual induction in a mathematical form as let me first clean this Since you know that dear student, the rate of change of current is basically the rate of change represent a change in a current uh, divided by time. So the rate of change, this rate of change of current divided by T, it take place in a primary coil. So we will write P in a subscript. P represent a primary coil. So rate of change in a current in a primary coil is directly proportional to the induced EMF in a secondary coil. S represent secondary coil. So this means that rate of induced EMF in a secondary coil is equal to constant into rate of a change of a current in a primary coil constant for mutual inductance is represented by m and it is known as mutual inductance inductance so we get induced emf uh, in a secondary coil is equal to 
म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस इन टू रेट ऑफ ए चेंज ऑफ ए करंट इन ए प्राइमरी कॉल so this is an equation for a mutual induction now important point to note here is that we need to include minus sign in equation of mutual induction the reason of including minus sign in equation of mutual induction is lenz law we state that the induced emf will always oppose the source which causing the induced emf to generate so the induced emf will be opposite or it will be opposite to the change of the current produced in a primary coil so we will in, incorporate minus sign in equation of mutual induction so this equation a1 is known as equation for mutual induction so now dear student let us explain mutual induction with a schematic diagram consider that we have a coil suppose this is a coil and this coil is connected with a potential source or with a battery and this setup also have a component which is known as rheostat this is battery having a voltage plus and minus terminals and the, the coil which is connected with with volt with with the battery is basically known as primary coil so now consider that there is a, another coil which is present near this primary coil this is another coil and it is connected with a current uh, detecting device known as ammeter or a galvanometer so now dear student please keep in mind that this is called this is secondary coil student please keep in mind that for being a primary coil it is important that a coil is connected with a volt voltage generation source or with a battery whereas every coil will be secondary coil which is not connected with a voltage generation source or a battery in a mutual induction so now this is a primary coil and this is a secondary coil so whenever a voltage is applied in a uh voltage is applied on a primary coil there will be a generation of an electric current in a primary coil so there will be a generation of electric current and as you know that whenever there is electric current there is a production of magnetic field and they have uh, this mean that every current which is moving in a wire have associated magnetic field and similarly magnetic field have a magnetic field of line this mean that that magnetic field will also have a magnetic flux magnetic flux represent a number of magnetic field of line passing through an area so every coil having a current will have a magnetic field and magnetic field will also have a magnetic flux so now if all of these are constant in a primary coil if the magnetic flux magnetic field and current are constant then the induced emf in a secondary coil emf in secondary coil in this situation will be zero because the, there is no change in a magnetic flux and whenever this current changes and the change in a current will result into change in a magnetic field and the change in magnetic field will result into change in a magnetic flux this mean that there will be an 
induction of an electromotive force. So it is very important in order to induce electromotive force and in order to produce induced current, there must be a change in a current in a primary coil in mutual induction. And whenever there is a change there uh, in a current, there will be a change in magnetic field of line because current have a magnetic field associated with it. And the magnetic field of line, change in magnetic field of line will result into a change in magnetic flux. And hence, induced EMF will be produced in a secondary coil. So now this will let us discuss the direction of uh, current and the role of direction of a current on the uh, mutual induction that how mutual induction basically will interact uh, will interact with the direction of current suppose that current in a coil is anti clockwise current is in a coil in a primary coil is anti clockwise like this anti clockwise so this means that current in a coil will be like this whenever current in a coil is anti clockwise you can basically determine determine this is i you can determine the direction of a magnetic field. The direction of magnetic field will be determined by right hand rule. So you can basically grab your hand in a direction or grab your fingers in a direction of a magnetic field. So in that case, the thumb will basically indicate a direction of a, uh, the, the thumb will basically indicate a direction of magnetic field. So the direction of magnetic field in this case will be like this. And whenever the current is moving uh, anti-clockwise, one of side, the right side of the coil will act as a south pole. And whereas, uh, sorry, the right side of the coil will act as a north pole. And and whereas the left side will act as a south pole and as you know that in a magnet in a magnet there are two types of poles suppose this is a magnet magnet there are two types of pole one pole is known as north pole and other pole is known as south pole so the magnetic field of line generated from north pole and they go toward the south pole and whereas in in the south pole the magnetic field of line come toward the south pole they are inward to the south pole so now so now whenever the uh, potential is applied on a coil and if a current is basically moving anti-clockwise then in such cases the magnet uh, right side of the wire act as a north pole and left side act as a south pole. This means that uh, the magnetic field of line will be basically will come out from the north pole like this. in case if current is anti-clockwise so these are the magnetic field of lines so now dear student please keep in mind that if the magnetic field of lines are constant we have applied a constant voltage there is no change in a current caused by a real state then the magnetic field of line generated by a current in a coil will be constant which means that magnetic field is constant so if the magnetic field is constant and we move this if magnetic field is constant and then and the the secondary coil is also in a stationary state and, and it is it is static then this means that constant magnetic field of lines are passing through the secondary coil which will result into no induced emf so this means that 
whenever the magnetic field lines current and as well as flux magnetic flux remain constant then there will be no generation of induced electromotive force so electromotive force will be zero now the student please keep important point uh, in your mind whenever there is a change in current caused by a real state in a primary coil the change in current will result into change in magnetic field lines and the change in magnetic field of line will basically result into change in a magnetic flux so the change in a magnetic flux will result uh, into a generation of induced emf in a secondary coil so in this way the real state which is basically causing a continuously change in a a change in a current is resulting into change in a magnetic field of line and which result into change in a magnetic flux and the change in a magnetic flux basically cause an induced emf in a secondary coil so this is called a mutual a phenomenon uh, known as mutual induction so we have basically initially current is changed in a primary coil by uh, a real state and this change of a current in a primary coil result in the change in a magnetic field of line in a primary coil. Change in magnetic field of line result into change in magnetic flux. And the change of magnetic flux basically cause a generation of induced EMF in a secondary coil. And whenever there is a generation of induced EMF, there will be a production of an induced current. So now in case if the current is in case if the current is clockwise then this means that the north pole uh, of uh, the north pole of uh, on the right side will be changed into a south pole and the um, south pole on the left side will be converted into a north pole in this case the magnetic field of line direction will be like this and again if there is a change in a current caused by real state there will be also a production of uh, indu uh, induced electromotive force in a secondary coil so for both directions of a current either it is uh, uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise there will be a production of induced electromotive force but the requirement for the production of induced electromotive force uh, is just the rate of a change of a current continuously current is changing by real state there will be a continuous production of electromotive force and induced current in a secondary coil so now listen please keep in mind that we can also calculate a mutual induction in a particular time or at a particular instant as you know that induced emf in a secondary coil is produced by due to a change in a current in a primary coil and the constant use is m so this is basically a formula of uh, mutual induction so now uh, if the current is basically changing uh, continuously uh, at a specific instant so we can basically also calculate instantaneous uh, mm, uh, electromotive force induced electromagnetic force for instantaneous we will write just instant word instant at a specific which mean that a change in uh, which mean that a production of induced emf at a particular instant and we can just write the equation like m into rate of a change of a current in a primary coil divided by t at a particular instant is is ins so now this would keep in mind that in the coil used in a mutual induction may have a number of turns so we need to incorporate number of turns in an uh, an equation of mutual induction because the, num the greater is the number of turns uh, in a primary or secondary coil there will be a greater change 
or greater production of induced EMF. The number of turns are directly proportional to the production of induced EMF. So we can basically, in equation, we will write uh, the, the uh, equation for a mutual induction will become E S EMF induced EMF in a secondary coil is equal to minus mutual inductance into number of coils uh, of uh, number of coils uh, a number of uh, number of uh, coil divided by rate of a change of a current in a primary divided by uh, t so the number of coil of primary basically it will uh, it will basically cause a rate of the uh, the magnitude of a rate of a change of mutual induction uh, in a secondary coil so this is all about mutual induction mutual induction is a physical phenomenon in which a elect in which a rate of a change of a current in a primary coil result into a production or result into a generation of uh, electromotive force in a secondary coil now dear student let us write the formula for mutual inductance that what is a formula for a mutual inductance m or what is an si unit of mutual inductance m this means since you know that induced emf in a secondary coil es is equal to mutual inductance into rate of a change of a current in a primary coil so now they then the mutual inductance will become minus emf in a secondary coil into rate of a change of a current rate of a change uh, rate of a change of time divided by a rate of divided by a current change in a current so this means that since you know that unit of time is second unit of current is ampere and electromotive force in a secondary coil electromotive force unit of electromotive force is basically a volt so this means that mutual inductance m will become volt into second divided by ampere and this unit of this is si unit for uh, mutual induction so main inductance so the mutual inductance is the unit of mutual inductance is also known as henry so now how can you define the unit of inductance uh, henry we can say that mutual inductance is one henry when an induced when one ampere of current of current in one second generate an induced emf of one volt so whenever there is one ampere current in one second and it's generate an electromotive force of one volt then this is called one henry so now resident let us conclude induced emf include emf uh, in due, and let us conclude mutual induction just mean mutual induction is a process in which an a rate of a change of a current in a primary coil result into generation of an induced emf in a secondary coil the unit of induced um, uh, mutual induction is uh, sorry the unit of mutual induction is henry and one henry is defined as whenever one ampere of a current in a coil in a one second generate an induced emf of one volt 
in a secondary coil, then it is called the amount of mutual induction is basically our inductance is known as one Henry. So this is all about mutual induction.